all the work I've done in the last 35 years, that many people stay in a relationship when they should leave and many leave when they could stay if they just knew how. So let's get back to the allegory about loading the dishwasher. When I was working with the clients, one of them, the, the wife in this case, and it could be both genders, I'm, I'm not picking a gender, but in this case, it was both wives that were complaining that they did all the chores, that their husband didn't do anything. The husbands were complaining that their wives weren't affectionate as they wanted them to be. And when we put it together, that learning how to listen and communicate would lead to better sex, that's part of what we learned. So. Are you grumpy sometimes? Absolutely. Is a relationship going to go smoothly all the time? No. But underneath, I've seen that there is always an inner child yearning for connection, even when you're disconnected, even when you're walled, even when you're judging your partner through the filters of negativity. He always does this. She never does that. I've always seen that there's an inner child inside that's looking for connection. And that's what you want to focus on, is that your partner has some desires that aren't being met, is just as hurt and sad and lonely and scared as you might be. And learning how to communicate that is what's gonna heal your relationship. So you don't have to keep pretending you're fine. Do you notice how you put on a facade, you're either codependent or you're going through the motions and you're still holding on to your old stories about what happened in the past or your frustrations or your resentments or your judgments of your partner. And when you're carrying all that baggage around, it's hard to start over. So what I help people do, and I wanna give you some tips on it today is how to compassionately communicate.